with over 400 celebrity interviews and tons of pop culture nerdiness, Too Opinionated is a safe haven for your inner geek. Find us at MeisterCon.com or on YouTube under MeisterCon Pod. And please subscribe. It would really help us out. Thanks, everybody. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Two Opinion Eight. I am so excited today. I've got actress Athena Park with me. So welcome, Athena. Hi, everyone. Thank you for having me. <laughs> you are my first Athena on the podcast. I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah. 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 Athena is a really good name. Actually, it, it has a really funny story behind it. It was actually named after. I was actually named after a sweater. <laughs> no, <you won't>. yeah. <laughs> well. Basically, like um, the year that I was born was when the Olympics were being held in Greece. Yeah. So my mom had a sweater that said Athens, but the S looked like an A. And she was like, oh, Athena. I was like, couldn't that come to you a different way? <laughs> well, that's, yeah, I, you may want to change that story to, there's yeah. a lot of ways to come up with Athena. Yeah. I don't know. That one's unique, though. I kind of like it. Me too. I really like my name. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, uh, that's that's solid. It's very it's very strong. It makes it seem like you should be in like a an action movie, you right. know, or, or maybe a superhero movie. Definitely. I mean, that's why I do. I mean, that's not my sole reason for doing Taekwondo, but it's one of them. It's like, oh, in case somebody asked me to like, just in case. Going. Yeah, just in case. You always have to be ready. Yeah, it's a very Hollywood name. I think. I think so. Yeah. 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 So, so you do uh, Taekwondo. I saw you were like a couple of black belts into it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a second degree black belt. Yeah. That's impressive. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That's impressive. So my, uh, my godson's a, let's see, he's had, he's, he's in college. I think he's on three, but it's for karate. Okay. With that. So, so, but, but still a, a martial arts, but I've watched him, and the dedication it takes to get to each level like that. That's impressive that you're uh, doing that. That's not easy. Yeah, definitely. Like even some uh, degrees where you have to go up um, one, I think it says one of the criteria for it is you have to wait a year. Yeah. You just have to wait because it's um, martial arts is about gaining wisdom, like mentally, but not just yeah. physically. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a lot of people make that mistake because they think, well, I'm, I'm really athletic. So, I'll just go in and just be great at martial arts. And that it's not all about that. Yeah. There's a lot of mental aspect to it. Totally. Totally. Yeah. Are you, do you, does Taekwondo use any like weapons, anything, or is it mostly oh, for defense? It's mostly for defense or yeah. um, like sparring or learning the Pumse, which is like the patterns and stuff. But yeah, there's not any, um, weapons that I know of. No. Yeah. 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 Well, I was curious because, you know, if you're going to do, action movies then yeah. you know like a sword or some size or something that might come in handy totally that's why i actually took a course on like weapons training it was literally called weapons training <laughs> yeah <laughs> well it was me in a class with a bunch of like full-grown men like super buff and i walk in i think i was like 14 i walk in there a twig and i'm like hey guys like, <laughs> woman, everyone. And I'm like okay swords are today and i was like what? Well, yeah. I'm it already. <laughs> yeah. Did you pass the class? I did. I did pass Okay. The class. Yeah. All right. So what, what kind of weapons did they have? They had swords. What else? We did swords and we did spears as well. We also did oh. nunchucks a little bit, but not very many of those because that hurts yourself <laughs> at the same yeah, time. Yeah, nunchucks are rough. Yeah. And we also did daggers and guns, like um, flipping them and like being all cool, like a cowboy, mm -hmm. like rodeo kind of thing I, I want to take this class but only for the coolness factor i don't want yeah. to actually have to use any of this stuff <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, like i always wanted you know you want to be able to quick draw and do the fancy gun things and stuff but i i know that i would shoot myself i know it so yeah. stay away it, it would be it would be a disaster i talked to um the uh, let's see adrian paul who played, he played the Highlander in the TV series. And, and so I don't know if you're familiar with the Highlander, but you know, they they use swords in Highlander. They're fighting all the time. Yeah. So his, he still acts quite a bit, but on the side, he does this thing where you pay money 
and you, he takes you to a castle and you just sword fight all day long and then you have a feast and spend the night in the castle. I would do that. I know. That's I nice. said the same thing. I was like, I would do that. Right? That's a good so, getaway. Yeah, that's a good idea. And he just travels around the world to different castles. Now that is cool. I thought that was pretty cool. Right? <laughs> 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 I'm assu- I, I never thought to ask. I'm assuming they're fake swords, but maybe that's why you get to feast if you survive. You exactly feast. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you have any intention, like with Taekwondo, to continue along that line? Or are you Are you interested in any other martial arts? Oh, totally! I love Taekwondo, and I've been doing it yeah. since I was super young because my that's dad also. Awesome. Also- a master in it like he has his own gym and everything. oh really yeah yeah so i was that little kid like running around and like doing all like the, like the, the kids that everyone sees every day um and so yeah i think totally i'm gonna do taekwondo for my entire life yeah. um i would love to play around with a bunch of different martial arts i think those are so cool yeah that's i think that's really neat how how cool is it though that your dad is a master in it i mean that gives you a leg up oh totally totally yeah as soon as I tell like any of my so-called crushes that like my dad is like, oh yeah, he's he's just like a master in Taekwondo, nothing, nothing serious. And they're like, Taekwondo. Has he ever come out to intimidate? When somebody comes to pick you up or to come over, you know, for a visit, is is he put his, you know, dad persona on? Actually, yeah, his dad persona is like he's 24 7 so sweet he's just like a big teddy mm-hmm. bear but then i knew it yeah I it's knew easier, it. right it's easier to imagine him though as like in a picture because a lot of his pictures he's just like straight faced like but that you know that emoji on um apple where it's like literally just <laughs> one line here? like that's him in a picture so you can imagine him in a picture like being a taekwondo like oh yeah. Like in, in the driver's seat, he's like, "Hey, Ethan, what's he's going on?" <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Well, then, yeah, then maybe he needs to get your mother to come and. Actually, my mom's a black belt too. See, I had a feeling the whole family was involved. Yeah, yeah. You know, maybe she's the one that could scare the dates away. Oh, and she is the one that scares the dates. Yeah. To be honest. She is. <laughs> I always wanted to be the tough guy, you know, especially when the when when my daughters were were teenagers and stuff. But I never could do it, yeah. you know, because I always felt kind of bad for the guy because it's that's that's not easy when you come to the house for the first time. That's a lot of pressure. Totally, totally. You know, I always felt for him. I wanted to be tough and be kind of rough on him, but it was, I, I had a hard time with that because I sympathized. I remember those days. Totally, totally. Yeah. 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 So, okay. So I got this way off track, but let me bring us back. So, so talk a little bit about, you know, what got you into acting? What made you want to, you know, be part of the entertainment industry? Yeah. Well, I first started getting into it by starting in a school play and it was, for oh, the, nice. right. It was for the rock yes. and tail of Snow White. So it was like a rock version of Snow White. Yes. Yeah. And um, it was like for grade eight only. And at the time. Did the was, dwarves play like instruments? No, they ran around and like, Big shoes. I don't know why they ran around. <laughs> Actually, I'm thinking about that right now. I don't know why they would run around in big shoes. Um, <laughs> it's very rock and roll, apparently. Yeah, rock and roll, like stomping away. But um, yeah, I just like, I asked the teacher if I could be in it because I was in grade four. Meanwhile, it was grade eight's only play, whatever. And then she was like, wow, that audition was great. Why don't you be the evil queen? And I was like, that's a big role. Ooh, that yeah. is a big role. Um, But that's where I fell in love with really getting out of my comfort zone because yeah Queen is such a demanding character um contrast yeah. to Snow White she has to be in a hunchback have like a uh, voice and yeah, you like, have to like give a lot with yeah. your expressions and stuff too totally totally yeah yeah and that's a good one to start with but a hard one definitely definitely it, I, I uh jumped in the deep end in the deep end yeah <laughs> Have you got, since then, have you got to play a villain in anything? Well, not necessarily like a, a fictional villain, but definitely like a, a real life bully multiple times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are they typecasting you as the bully? 
I don't know, but I'm okay with it, to be honest. It's a really <laughs> fun character. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, that's that's pretty good. So did you like once you were in that play, did you know right then, hey, this is something that I would like to do? Yeah, I, I seriously felt the adrenaline from it. Um, the fact yes. that I, I knew that performing was for me, that because I fell in love with just giving people something that they can like hold on to and like take away. I fell in love with yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you prefer like because you've done you've done stage now? Do you prefer being in front of an audience like that, or do you like the TV movie sets? I think, well, we're going to be completely honest here. Um, I like the the funds and the financial stability that cinema gives me, and like of course. A, give me. But I think I will forever have my heart where I started, which is theater, because it's yeah. just natural and raw. That it's um, it's where the pure art form started. I love it. I think most actors would agree with that. Definitely. Like if, if if theater paid as well as television or movies, a lot of people would choose that, I think. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So I saw you on Killjoys. I'm nerdy. So that was a <laughs> show I watched. Well, at that time when it came out, which was probably six, seven years ago, something like that, you know, sci-fi showed a ton of those shows you know they had a lot of like their own content and stuff and they were all pretty good killjoys was a was a really good show but i thought your appearance on there that was pretty good but then i found out later that was like your that was your first yeah that was like my first ever like ever yeah yeah Yeah. you couldn't tell i thought you did a good job thank you thank you i remember leaving that set on the last day after i think a couple weeks of shooting in a row and uh i cried so badly I cried so badly because that was like, oh my gosh, like I was doing something that I love every single day. And we were doing night shifts, yeah. which is hard for like a 12 year old, but uh, I loved it. I missed it so much. Yeah. Yeah. Are you, are you kind of a, are you nerdy? Are you a sci-fi fan? Anything like that? Or was that new to you? Um, It definitely put me into like first starting because I never used to like I never used to read. I never used to really like sci-fi stuff until I was in that and I watched it and I was like, oh, wow. And then my mom started introducing like all these alien movies to me. That's when I first (laughs) watched Twilight. And um, like- That's good parenting. Yeah, right? And then I, I, my mom really likes aliens, really likes aliens. So- It's a good franchise. A bit of her uh, love for the supernatural. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, Twilight- and you're old enough that would have hit as you were as you were growing up. It was so big. It was like the first franchise that that really brought in all the uh, all the young girls and stuff yes. into it. You know, some of the other ones have brought in both, but that one really brought. Like I remember taking uh, my oldest to it, and the lines just to get into the movie, and the the women were so excited about. It. I just never seen anything like that. It was so cool. Yeah. Yeah. I love yeah. it. I know. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. See, now you're at that age. Maybe it's time to play a vampire. Right? And, you know, that's why I'm okay with, like, not being too tan. Like, all these girls are just like, oh, I want to get tan, go to the beach. And I'm just like, no, I'm preparing for my vampire role. I've you, been- you don't see any tan vampires. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> you got to be suspicious if you run into a tan vampire. Right? It's like, oh, She's both. She is both. <laughs> that is suspicious. <laughs> you actually would have been really good on um, another sci-fi show called Van Helsing. Okay. I don't know if you've ever seen that one, but it's it's about vampires and vampire hunters. But they had uh, kind of like martial artist type of vampire hunters that were they were they were they were like part vampire but part human. Okay. But with your background, I think you could have done it. You could have pulled it off. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Here I am. I'm going, I'm going to get you on a bunch of shows that aren't even on TV anymore. Y- yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're going to be the writer, the actor, the cinematographer. <laughs> We're bringing it back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so we got to talk uh, Holly Hobby because that one's season four is coming out or it just came out? Season four just came out and season five is coming out very soon. 
Oh, very good. Okay, okay. Yeah, very good. So when I was growing up, Holly Hobby was kind of a big deal because it it's like the, um, if I remember right, it's based on an actual person that was like an artist, and she started putting out paintings or whatever of, of uh, you know, this character, and then it became a doll like in the when like when i was i was pretty young but i remember the dolls coming out and they were kind of a, a it always reminded me later like in the 80s strawberry shortcake came out and it kind of reminded me of that without the strawberry yeah definitely and then and then a few years back when they came out with uh with the show mm. which i can't believe it's already on year five I, it seems like it just came out mm. uh, my uh my daughter watched it because that was right along her you know her line of uh show and loved it so i saw some of the episodes with that and then now um my granddaughter is watching some of them and she's she's still pretty young so she's not picking all of it up but she's enjoying the she likes the costumes and this the uh you know when people get excited on screen she's kind of that so it's it's kind of kind of neat that that character has survived now for like 50 years Right, right. Yes. I actually, I have a teacup set that I was gifted once. I think I was yeah. quite young. I think I was around five or six. Um, and that's when it was first becoming like a, um, like really popular or something like that. So yeah. I, I got this teacup set, and I, when I booked the role, I actually brought it out, and I was like, "Holy cow!" <laughs> <laughs> so you play Savannah, is that right on the show? Okay, yeah. so so what's Savannah's role? Is is she the bully? Yeah, she, she is the bully. Um, she started off as like this um cool girl, whatever, just not another one of the kids in high school, whatever. And then in season two, that's when everything kind of changes. Mm -hmm. And then she becomes this like theater kid who's really in love with the arts, whatever. A, a lot of like me. And then, but I have like this um dying need to get the main role of like the theater production. Of course, movie, right. And then so that's me and Ruby. Well. That's her real name, Holly. Holly Hobby plays uh, yeah. Ruby plays Holly, and um, oh, I miss Ruby. But anyways, uh, <laughs> we're like we're competition, and so I had to be like really rude, whatever. And then season four comes around, and we become really good friends. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now, oh, so you guys are friends now on the show? Yes, we are. Okay. Okay, that's a twist. It is a twist. <laughs> let's say let's say I have a big arc. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, that's exciting. Yeah. So I get the feeling like like when you watch it, it feels like the cast has really good chemistry. So I'm guessing that off camera, you guys get along pretty well. Totally, totally. I've yeah. well, I've never been part of a TV show that has gone for five seasons, but uh, I I feel like this is a really genuine cast, and I felt yeah. connected with them since the very beginning. I remember when I first walked in on the first day ever of shooting Holly Hobby. I walked into the lunch room with my little like uh, lunch tray, trying to find a place to sit and seeing all these like actors. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's the, that's the main character. And then all of a sudden Ruby, who plays Holly, um, yeah. says, Athena, uh, you play Savannah, right? Come sit over here. And then all of a sudden I was like, wow, I've never felt so welcomed before. Yeah, that's awesome. It was awesome, yeah. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Yeah, I'm a big fan of, of Ruby's too. I, I think she's really, really talented uh, actress as well. She had the uh, oh the unicorn show. Yes, yeah. You know, she was really good on that as the daughter. I thought she was really good. But she's she's a very good title character, and that sounds. I mean, that's what if you're the lead on a show, that's what you should be doing. Is kind of extending the olive yeah. branch. Get you know get all the cast together. So that's cool that she did that. Oh. If you're the team captain like you kind of hold that responsibility as like okay i have to bring everyone together i have to create this like good energy and that's that's exactly what she did amazing that's yeah that's that's really that's a good lesson yeah you know because i think as as a fan you can tell when a cast doesn't really get along i know it doesn't seem like it but if you're on a show and the chemistry's bad even if they're good actors you can kind of feel it just as an audience i think Definitely, definitely. You can you can see between the the lines. I know. Yeah. Do you guys hang out any offset? Oh yeah, yeah. Actually, um, last summer I went down there for a bit, um, and actually during the school year too. And I stayed there for a good couple weeks, and I hung out with Ruby like every day because she lives in LA. Um, yeah. 
but the thing is it's kind of hard to see everyone now because we're all graduated high school and we're going yeah. to universities and everything so have you started college yet or is it still a couple weeks away a couple weeks away but i'm going to be going to the university of toronto that's know? awesome yeah congratulations what are you studying i'm going to be studying majoring in bioethics and cinema studies Oh, that's a combo I wouldn't have put together, but all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is bioethics? Well, it's basically like um the ethics and um what's important behind all of these uh like a uh, let's just say like abortion um uh like a uh, youth euthanasia stuff like that. Oh, that's um, very yeah, it's very topical right now. Yeah, yeah. that's that's actually a, a really smart degree. Is that? That type of thing and those causes, is that something that has uh, interested you for a while? Is that why you're going into it? Yeah, I think a lot of causes where I feel, well, with every um, problem out there in the world, I feel some sort of like compassion for this other person. And I really yeah. want to do that, but there's not much that my 17 year old <laughs> can do. Um, so I was like, okay, I'm going to study this and see if I can make a really big difference in the world. And I'm going to start with the biggest problems right now, which is. Um, I would say involved in bioethics. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, I've never heard that that name, but that makes complete sense. Yeah, I've, okay. And actually, that that might lend itself to to tie um, to what you're doing with acting as well. I think those could tie together because at some point you're going to be able to use your platform oh, to, yeah. to kind of get some of that uh, out there if you, if you choose to. That's that's pretty great. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah. So. You're also a crazy talented singer. I've been listening to a few of your uh, uh, covers, and those are really good. You've got a really good voice. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Is that something? That, have you had the opportunity to sing on a show, or have you done theater where you've had to sing? Yes, I have. I actually have done multiple theater productions where I've had to sing because a lot of them involve like like musicals, whatever. Um and then also the swearing jar, which is coming out September twenty third in theaters. And I know it looks great. Yeah, I actually got to yeah. sing in that. Um, oh, that's cool. Right, and that was uh, like my voice is singing in the background, uh, where Carrie, the main character, experiences like a very big turning point in her life, and so yeah, yeah. I'm singing in the background of that. And so I think that's really cool that I'm gonna like that's awesome that imprint on people when they're watching that and they're gonna be listening to that as well. Yeah, yeah. I've seen the previews for that, and it. Yeah, that looks like a good date night movie. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty good. But no, I thought your voice was really good. I, I heard you sing uh, Hotel California, yes. and that is not an easy song to sing or to do a cover on. And I thought you, it was really good. Like, you could release that. That was really good. Thank you so much. Thank you. I actually, my second song ever released on Thursday. What was the name of it? It's called Dent in My Heart. Very nice. Very nice. What was the first song? The first song is actually called Tuatara, T U A. -T oh, yeah. I, I, I listened to that one. What does that mean? <laughs> Tuatara is the fastest car in the world. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Right. And it's basically just like about moving on because at the beginning of the song, I go averaging at 331 miles per hour, breaking world records for speed, known as the fastest car in the world. The if you think I'd have picked it up right then. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. It's, it, yeah. It's really good. So, yeah, I wanted to ask you about the, the new one. So, what's. What's the new song about? Well, the new song is basically about um, I would I would have the strength to say that it's my first about my first heartbreak ever. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a, basically the first time that I ever I guess felt real pain um, as yes. a as a, as another human being on this planet that we all feel pain and we all go through for the first time. That was definitely that in my life, um, but also a big learning lesson I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it's basically about that and how just some things are just out of your control. And because it's other people's choices that just lead you to go somewhere else and you just have to roll with the punches. Yeah, I, th I think the, the best music is the kind that kind of comes from life experiences. Definitely. You know, because it kind of comes from the heart and the, the emotions behind it. That's yeah, that's really good. So is that going to be the first song of many that you'll be releasing? Are you going to do an album at some point? Oh, yes. An EP, yes. I guess, is the thing now. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. What? Uh, what? So what genre would you put your music in? See, I've got this question so many times, and it is one of the <laughs> hardest questions to answer. Yeah, it's hard sometimes to pin it down. Right? And 
you know, I would say Tuatara is more of like, I, my vision for that one was like, I want to rock because I really like rock music. I love yeah. it. And so I want this one like rock punk. And then with Dent in My Heart, I want it more like um, slow, synthy, kind of like close. It was kind of like a, kind of like a ballad or something. Yeah, ballad, ballad. And then I actually, one of my next songs that I'm actually finished recording is, um, another slow piano song but just piano and then my voice and then my fourth song is actually like club music um oh, very like, nice. yeah right so i'm actually hitting like every genre um but yeah I'm well excited. why not i mean yes. at some point if you decide you like one better than the others then you kind of go down that path but when you're when you're first starting to put stuff out why not totally see how it goes definitely yeah no i, I like that do you do you play any of the instruments on it um, for probably for graduation, I'm going to, I want to learn the piano notes because it seems pretty straightforward because I can play piano yes. and guitar, but for none of my songs so far, I've recorded, um, like the instruments in the background because I've been so occupied on like actually making like the melody for the, right. yeah. Yeah. When you, so when you write, when you're writing a song, do you write the music first or, or the lyrics first? See, a lot of people don't um, do this method that I do, but I actually write first and then I put it to the um, to the music. But it's funny because I actually create the music as I'm writing. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna start writing now. And then this is my process. So I just get a pen and paper or whatever. And then I'm just like, I was dancing in the rain. And it just kind of like comes, the two come with the words. So it just comes at like the same time, I guess. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I wish I could do that. If if I wrote music, I think I would write the lyrics first. Yeah. But yeah, that's beyond me. That's that's impressive. Did like do you do you read music or or do you play by ear? How do you you know how do you uh, kind of absorb and then put back out music? Um, I think I I think I just absorb everything that I hear. I don't really read music on my downtime, like the notes yeah. and everything. Um, but I definitely like because I used to do that. Um, like for school music classes, right? I used to put in like guitar and piano classes. So those created a really good foundation for me to be able to have the freedom that I have now. Just like, oh, I can just think of anything right now because I have that foundation. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's for, any any plans to to play live? Oh yeah, actually, I have a performance coming on the twenty sixth. Really, there in Toronto. Here in Toronto, yeah. Very nice, very nice. Is that is that is that unusual, or have you done that a few times before? Actually, this is my third performance singing like my own songs because before okay. this, I was in a band called Light It Up, and we just did covers here and there, whatever. I was the lead singer, and then I started creating my own music, and then I've never performed before. <laughs> I've never performed my own songs, like my own songs performing, which is like a big deal. Yeah, that's um, scary, right? Because it's creating music is just so terrifying <laughs> well yeah because you're putting everything out there right like that is that is your baby basically like you created that <laughs> and you spent hours on that and yeah but I, i've i've gotten really good feedback so far so I'm yeah happy. yeah i'm sure you'll do terrific you got you've got a terrific voice and apparently you're a really good songwriter too that's <laughs> that's a good combo it is, <laughs> you know, and that's and that's uh, that's rare. Do you have like down the road or will you try to like sing and play guitar at the same time? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Definitely. Yeah, that's exciting. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I could I could uh, rock vibe. I kind of kind of get that okay, seems like yeah. that would fit you. I'm yeah. glad. Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. We got to get you to the States. Yeah, yeah, I would love to perform in the states. Like that is my dream. <laughs> Did I also see that you were in um, Ghost Rider? Yes. Yeah, I watched that show. What was your role in that? Once again, a bully. <laughs> but, okay, um, okay. Yeah. I think I do know which one you were. Uh, um, oh. oh, I know what it what I was going to say, Allison, because my. Uh, um, stepdaughter is is named Allison we call her Allie but I was like I can't believe I almost forgot that but yeah yeah you were Allison yeah, yeah. you were a bully 
I was, yeah. In the show, I was like a fashionista because once again, we were having another like theater production, but this time I wasn't like one of the actors. I was like the lead designer for the-, for oh, the yeah. yeah. And so, uh, yeah, you're gonna have to find out to, to see what happens. <laughs> I, uh, I think for n- now that we're gonna get you into uh, Marvel and DC movies that- <laughs> It's going to have to be in a villain role. <laughs> oh, you know, I, one of my favorite movies is The Joker. I, I love it. I love it. Oh, yeah. You see, they, Lady Gaga is going to be in the next one. Yes. It's yes. Harley Quinn. That's exciting. She's probably got like a posse of bad guys. Maybe you could get in there. You know what? I, I would be okay with that. And you it's know, a musical. Oh, my gosh. I did not know that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You need to be looking that up. We got to get you on here. Definitely. Definitely. You'll just see me in the corner, like making my appearance somehow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that'd be it. If you got to be on, because they don't do a lot of musicals for, for movies. No, definitely not. Yeah. That would be really cool. I, I, I can totally see it with the Joker though. That seems like you could, you could totally do yeah. a Joker movie as a musical. Totally, totally. Yeah. Yeah. I can already see it. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah. know when it's coming out. I, I doubt they've even casted for it outside of uh, the, the big parts, but we need to we need to check that out and get you uh I'll, I'll make some calls. Okay, okay. We'll, so good. We'll, get taken, we'll get that taken care of. <laughs> I saw did you go did you surf or do you surf? I surfed once in my life. Yes. How did that go? It was oh the the Toronto waters are not fun. Let's just say, because I had my um surf suit on, I was fine. From oh, like it was in Toronto. Toronto. Yeah. Is it cold? Or the water's cold? Yeah. Uh, it, my, you should see my hands when I went in. It was beat red. Like, and I, <laughs> but I couldn't feel it. It wasn't hot. It was like breaking off slowly <laughs> because it was so cold. <laughs> but you had a wetsuit on, right? I did. I guess that doesn't I, help your hands though. My hands and feet were not in it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Right. Well, how did you do? I think I did pretty good. Um, there wasn't actual waves; it was just flat waters. Um, but you know, I I think I have good balance. I, I well, I job. would think with the martial arts, your balance is probably pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I think I did a really good job because um, when I was younger, I used to do um, like body surfing, which is just like you just go. Oh, I know and- body surfing. You you can't tell by looking at me, but world class body surfer right here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I am not good at very many things, but I will absolutely brag about my body surfing. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. I yeah. like that. <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll tell you my worst moment as a body surfer. Okay. So, so I'm out. I'm out. You know, and it's waves. So I'm riding the waves, and I, I caught this waves, and it it shot me. It was like a bullet coming out of a gun. I mean, I was flying and i'm thinking in my head this is as fast as anybody has ever went ever body surfing i was like i'm the best body surfer in the world (laughs) and then i just smacked right into somebody like hard (laughs) and i'm underwater and i'm thinking oh i've killed somebody it's i've really hurt somebody so i come up and it's my wife and and like I totally just slobber knocked her, you know, like snot's coming out her nose. She's crying. I'd hit her right in the stomach and just knocked all the hair out of her. What are the chances of going directly to your? Well, wife? And she said like she saw me coming at her and tried to get out of the way. And I'm underwater, so I don't see anything. But I turned with her. <laughs> 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 uh, so for some reason she stuck around thank goodness but, yeah yeah that was the worst day of body surfing because yeah she was laid up for a day or two wow wow yeah i can imagine it's basically like a body check in like yeah it's basically yeah it's basically it but outside of that like if they had an olympics for body surfing i'm pretty sure i could be on the team definitely definitely knock out one of the judges while you're out. yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, they have to clear the beach. Since that day, I do not do it if there's anybody else in the water around me. I'm too free. 
Too scared to do it. <laughs> yeah. But I, and the, I, I went like the first time I went to L.A. and tried to get out in that water because I'm used to warm water. Mm-hmm. You know, so I went to L.A. and that water is freezing. Yeah. And I didn't have a wetsuit on. So I'm just walking out there and I, and I got to about, you know, mid thigh. Couldn't feel my legs anymore. I was like, OK, it's, it's beautiful, but not the beach for me. Yeah. Yeah. It's freezing. It's cold. <laughs> But Toronto's like that, so is it the Pacific Ocean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you got to get to the Atlantic o- Ocean. You don't even Definitely. need the wetsuit. Definitely. <laughs> so are you, so you you sing, you act, do you do anything else artistic? Do you dance? I do dance, yeah, yeah. Well, Very I stopped good. in the summer, but I've actually been dancing for a really long time actually since I was a really little kid I started with ballet jazz all those like little little girl ones and then I moved from break dancing and then I went to hip-hop and break dancing was like wow <laughs> not for me let's just say but um yeah I, I'm just, be I careful with break dancing because if you're walking around somebody's liable to stop and challenge you oh definitely dance off. yeah yeah I see those uh, cardboards laid out on the floor and I'm ready. I'm ready to pounce. (laughs) (laughs) Dance, uh, dance, I think is kind of funny because it's rare when you, when when you meet somebody that's like specialized in one area of dance, sometimes ballet. Usually you go into dance and you're, you're trying all of them out. Yeah. And there's a lot of them. Definitely. Yeah. That's why I did everything growing up because I really didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, did you play I sports? I did play sports. Yeah, yeah. What'd I you play? Football, volleyball, and I did gymnastics. I did figure skating as well. Um, yeah, I did a lot. <laughs> you did do a lot. Yeah, yeah. You did I just, roller I skate. Figure skating, which is like on the ice, and then like yeah, no, figure it. skating. I totally, I could not do it. I was a roller skater. Oh, okay. But it didn't translate to the ice for some reason. You think it would, but I guess the one, you know, when I was roller skating, it wasn't the inline skate. So you had the four wheels. Apparently, that's what I needed. I couldn't do the, you know, just the knife on the bottom of your. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you, were you um, like competing mm. um, in the with- figure skating? Figure skating, no, because, but they asked me because um, I had to finish like all of these levels. I think it was about seven to 10 levels. Oh, um, wow. So that I could like be a part of the team, but I just wanted to finish all the levels. I was very competitive. Um, I was like, I just need to yeah. finish all the and I'm out. But <laughs> they were just like, oh, be part of the competitive team. I was like, no, uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah. I don't know. Why. <laughs> but uh, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And volleyball, too. Are, are you tall? I am five seven around there. Okay, so that's that's good size. You can do volleyball. And I got onto Team Ontario, which is like you go to nationals and everything. So in nationals, I actually won gold. I came on gold. So really, um, yeah, yeah. Well, you're pretty athletic. I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's pretty good. So what about? Let me think. Um, how about painting or pottery? Anything like that? Actually, that's funny you say that because I literally, because I'm in my office, these yes. are all my supplies right there. Oh, yeah. I didn't my- see those before. Very nice. And then here we are with the pottery tools. <laughs> <laughs> I just had a so- feeling that you were like good at all the arts. Yeah, it's funny that you bring up painting and pottery specifically because those are the, like, basically the only two that I do. I was like, whoa. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. My uh, my wife paints and she also does pottery, so I think I connect those two together. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, so what for your pottery, what are you what are you making? I basically just make anything that really comes to mind. One day I made a honey pot. Um and then like, nice. for like that spoon, you know that like the Yeah, yeah. Spoon. Everybody needs a little honey pot with the spoon. Right. Yeah. Um I also made like a actually just literally once I just uh made sort of like a piece of paper kind of it was just like a block um that was quite thin and I just drew on it with uh like the oh now that's neat yeah 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 I like that so what's your what's your um medium for painting you know what are you is am I saying that right what's your 
Um, what I, kind of paint are you doing? Is it like oil painting? Is it uh, oh, trying to, I, yeah, what's. I really want to go into acrylic, which is like the thick. Oh, acrylic. That's what my wife does. I couldn't think of it, but that's what, yeah, that's it. She's, yeah. she'll try other stuff, but acrylic's the one she spends most of her time in. I say, I would say it's like the most fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's really neat. So do you do that more as a like you need to unwind or in your downtime? Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. So so none of that's showing up on on somewhere to sell. <laughs> no, unfortunately not. <laughs> you never know. She started doing that. She paint like most of her paintings. It drives me crazy because I think she's a really good artist. But she does it and then donates it for like charity auctions. So then they auction, you know, off the paintings and and then I guess the charity gets the the money from them. But what she doesn't know is that I'm I'm buying a lot of those back. So yeah. I've got like a closet full of her paintings that one day she's gonna find, but I have trouble letting them go. Yeah, yeah. No, because yeah, you grow like sentimental things, uh, like material. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. That's pretty, it's, yeah, it's tough. It's tough. Um, Athena, thank you so much. This has been terrific. I think you're so talented. You're more talented than I thought you were, and I already thought you were really talented. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> so a couple of things, though, before we wrap up. Um, anything else that you're working on that we can kind of keep an eye out for? You've got a lot going on, and you're getting ready to start school. Or, you know, or is there other stuff, though, that we can kind of keep an eye out for? Um, well, keep an eye out for more songs because those are, I feel like I'm on a roll right now because I feel like yeah. I'm trying to get as many songs out before I get into school because that's when it's really going to hit. Yeah, that's <laughs> um, exciting. Yeah, and look out for videos on my YouTube channel and yeah, just catch up on Instagram. Are you, are you going to do like a video for the new song? Actually, I already finished shooting. Oh, very nice. Yeah. So is it is it the type of video where you're, it's just you singing the song or is it does it have a story or you know what kind of video is it well a lot of people were like okay this i want this music video to have a story like let's get some boy actors in here and i was like no 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 no. i want this music video to be <laughs> i was i was like mm, no boys in this one mm -mm. for my first music video mm. <laughs> and then um yeah i just wanted it to be metaphorical kind of so yeah. i have like mannequins uh we we go we go, we went to a bunch of different places to look at like sets and everything and i feel like we found some really good ones that really resonate with me um but yeah i think did you have to go looking for mannequins yes <laughs> we did we did uh let's just say it was it was weird because these mannequins had like very detailed faces oh, uh, I, yeah. wasn't I wasn't ready for that one <laughs> i was gonna say that's a little creepy yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to be, you know, by yourself with those mannequins. That's scary. No, no, yeah. I've seen that movie. You don't want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's really cool. I meant to ask you if you were going to do uh, videos for the song. So, yeah, that's that's really good. You've got a, a really nice uh, YouTube channel. I mean, a lot of content and it's funny. You know, it's yeah. interactive. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, so so it, can you teach me the uh, stair technique? The stair technique. Yeah, for you said you've got the good camera stair technique. Is oh the camera like staring? Yeah. Oh oh, I feel like I can hold my like eyes open for a really long time. Yeah, yeah see, I think I'd have trouble with that. See, but, but, but who would know? I could just do it, take the picture, and be like, I I could hold it forever. <laughs> right <laughs> but, but it's like i think because i have contacts i have prescription contacts so it actually you makes my eyes, it like makes my like eyelids like stay open because they rest yeah, yeah. on contact lines. yeah no i get that i get yeah. that and there's some, yeah there's some truth to that <laughs> yeah. have you ever had uh collared contacts no i haven't when i was younger than you are i was i was probably a freshman in high school I decided that's what I was missing was collared contacts. That was, you know, I was going to announce my presence in high school with collar. So I got like aqua collar. You know, it's like a collar that nobody could actually have. You could see me. I like glue in, or glowed in the dark. It was ridiculous. It, was ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. it did get me noticed, but probably not the way I wanted it to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but now those are kind of a thing. Everybody's, you know, they get them just for special occasions or stuff. Totally. Yeah, or maybe yeah. one collared one or 
one with the design or something. It's yeah. kind of neat. Right, right. And it's I have like these ones that are blue, um, but like the actual like uh, pupil, I guess, or the color part is massive. So when I have them on, it looks like I'm literally like an American doll. So <laughs> it's a little funky, but yeah, it's fun. <laughs> yeah, you wear that for like Halloween and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Do you ever, do you get any of the outfits from Holly that you can wear for Halloween? Actually, because of Holly Hobby, I think I got so many new clothes because I got to keep my entire wardrobe. The shoes. See, they actually let you keep it? The that's shoes. rare. Everything, yeah. It was insane. Um, but there's a bunch, actually. That's pretty cool because most of the time they won't let you leave with those. Never. Yeah, yeah. Well, because everything was specifically tailored for our bodies. Because we yeah, were I guess that's true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, All right, that's yeah. pretty. Yeah, that's that's a good perk. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Okay, so the last thing, you know, where can we find you on social media? Where can we find your music on social media? Yes. Well, for my music, you can find that anywhere. Um, I would say the easiest one is YouTube, just my YouTube channel, search up Athena Park. Um, yes. And then for Instagram, it's ITS Athena Park. Um, for Facebook, it's Athena Park and everything else. It's just Athena Park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got a good name because there's not like a million of you that come up when you put it in. Definitely. The, my only competition is a park in Greece, Athens, Greece. <laughs> yes, which is what came up when I put your name in. It was like the park and then you. Yeah, yeah. I think it, it may be leading right now. You gotta, you gotta really? pass that up. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> yeah, that I, which was that was kind of funny. I, I kind of enjoyed that one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I put my name in, and there's like a billion Mike or Michael Walls. Hmm. There's like a zillion of them in there. But yeah. yours, it was just like you in a park. Yeah, it's like oh, it's got to be one of these two. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not real bright, but I figured it out pretty quick. <laughs> park is just a picture of a park. So yeah, <laughs> it stumped me for a second, but I figured it out. Well, <laughs> Athena, thank you so much. This has been the best. You have to come back I mean, when, when you get ready to, to, to get the whole album out or you have the next project coming out, you got to come back. We'll talk some more. Totally. I would love to. I actually had a lot of fun. I'm glad. I'm glad. Me too. I was excited uh, to talk with you. And I'll be honest, I'm nerdy. So the first thing that popped in my head was Killjoys. Yeah. <laughs> and that yeah. Probably, for you, that was a while ago. Yeah. Yeah. But it's still it's still so relevant in my brain because all nope. of my experiences, I base off of Killjoys because that was the first. So Yeah. Yeah, yeah I know. It, was, it, it still uh, amazes me that that was your first um acting which it was i mean you've acted in other stuff but your first on camera which yeah. i thought uh yeah that's that was really good thanks i would have been way more nervous than that <laughs> yeah. did, were you able to do it in like a, a small number of takes or did it take a while i felt like i did i i think i did it in like a, a good number of takes yeah yeah because yeah. they're always going to do several to get yeah. you know to give them some options but you didn't hold them up to the point where people were rolling their eyes and stuff. No, definitely not. Yeah. Yeah. I was one of those kids that I really did not want people to be like, ugh, that kid. Uh, you kid's know? Back again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Athena. Hold on one thing. All right. So that was Athena Park. I'm a big fan of her acting. I think she's really talented and she's done a lot already and she's still pretty young, just now going uh, off to college, which is good for her going to college while she's um, working on her career. I think that's uh, commendable. Um, yeah, really talented. If if you haven't watched her in Holly Hobby yet, check that out. It's a really good show. It's well-written. It's got uh, a really good cast, good acting. Um, the writing's good. I, I, think, uh, I think you'll enjoy that. And she was also... Um, really good in Ghost Rider and Killjoys. And then she's got the movie, The Swearing Jar, that comes out. I think she said that comes out uh, next month. That looks amazing. And I didn't realize she was a singer until 
until I, I booked her for this interview and I've been listening to her music, really talented singer. So definitely check out uh, the new song, the new music and go to her YouTube page and check uh, and check out some of the, uh, she's got a lot of funny, just interactive videos, really, uh, really good. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. I realize I'm a little all over the uh, place tonight. Don't know why. Don't know why. It's just one of those nights I'm uh, I'm uh, uh, bouncing around a little bit. But I had a, a terrific time uh, speaking with Athena. She's uh, very uh, easy to talk to. Um, thank you guys so, so much for joining us tonight. I definitely don't take that for granted. You guys keep coming back week after week. I'm so appreciative of that. You know, if you haven't done so yet, we're building up our YouTube channel, MeisterCon Pod. If you could go there and subscribe, it's the biggest help to us. It's free. Gives you access to, we're closing in on 500 interviews. I can't believe it. Uh, Athena would be one of those, but there are so many other good ones. So, so check those out. I guarantee you'll find multiple people that you're fans of, or you'll discover somebody that uh, that you didn't know you were a fan of, but you'll become one. So, so check that out. YouTube MeisterCon Pod, and you can also find all 500 of our um, interviews, audio and video on our website, meistercon.com. If we're doing anything in studio this past weekend, we had the cast from the the 80s movie, The Monster Squad. We're in studio. It was the best. That'll be on the website. We posted that today. If we're doing anything um, on location, that'll be on there. If we're covering like a convention, we'll have that on there. And there's also a fun, geeky, well-written blog that brett does that if you're nerdy i guarantee you'll uh, you'll enjoy that and get a get a kick out of that so check that all of that out it's on the website meistercon.com thank you guys so so much until next time bye everybody <laughs>